Okay, my name is Azadi Fateh Muhammad, and I belong to Karachi, Pakistan. Um, professionally, I am a lecturer of mass communication, and I also uh, is a PhD student. I am working on my PhD uh, focused on development communication. And uh, my university name is Federal Urdu University for Arts, Sciences, and Technology in Karachi. That is mainly the only one federal and uh, university in Urdu medium. We do have uh, public sector universities all around the Pakistan, but our university's manifesto is to provide education in their national language. We do have bilingual programs, but mainly we teach and educate and have academics in Urdu. Uh, actually, I am teaching there since two years, and uh, before that, I was a visiting faculty at the University of Karachi, that is the biggest university of Pakistan. And uh, but I, uh, the difference I feel, uh, the unique uh, sense I feel for my university is that uh, that is a federal university. So we do have in our country a diploma and um, uh, sorry quota systems like uh, uh, you have you need to be you need to belong from the same city to get admission in the university. But my university, the Federal Urdu University, uh, do not offer this sort of admission process. We do offer admissions all around the country, like we do have students from all the provinces, all the communities, and all the languages. They came to us. We have two campuses, one in Islamabad and one in Karachi. And we, we share a very unique, plural, and diverse segment of uh, audience. Okay, uh, like I said, uh, Pakistani society is a very plural society. At, at one side, you can find elite class of that, very educated people, very professional, very intellectuals. But at the other side, they do, we do have a population like very much illiterate, very much uh, conservative, very much uh, uh, back. Maybe you can say that they, they are not exploring world or they do not have certain exposures they need to have. So we are, there is a mixed type of opinion in my opinion. As what I feel, there is a mixed type of opinion about U.S., especially when it comes to politics, when it comes to policy makings, when it comes to the bilateral relationships with the country. The common men uh, generally have insecurities uh, about the country. Like uh, and I think uh, maybe uh, we uh, in if we talk about the development sector, we do have in health or education the main projects, the main fundings run by the U.S. Uh, U.S. organizations like maybe WHO or UNESCO or other U.S. Aid. But uh, people do love those uh, organizations and their contributions. But the thing is that uh, they the work of those organizations do not get. Uh, deserving projection among the people. They do not know that the benefit or maybe the grants or maybe the positive contributions they are getting are by this country. They only uh, believe in media messages or political messages. So when it comes to politics, like uh, I did uh, work, I did research before coming here and I collected various sorts of opinions and I am going to show them in my report. So when people uh, uh, hear the name, especially those who don't who do not have any personal experience with the country, or uh, their relatives are not here, or their friends are not here, and they just heard the name on the screen of media, or maybe in the books, or maybe in the political issues. They do have insecurities, and I think it's not very difficult to overcome those insecurities just by projecting uh, uh, the communication messages and by filling out the gap. Uh, let me tell you that um, as I belong to very traditional family and I am the first one in my family to um, get a higher education, to do a job, to travel alone, to make my decisions by my own, the lucky one. And I always have uh, had a desire to study abroad. Since my bachelor's, I, I, I used to apply everywhere in Australia, in Germany. I never applied to USA. It, it always seems to me like very expensive. But I do apply in uh, Monash and other universities of the world, and I always try to get admissions there, maybe for masters, for doctoral or postdoctoral. 
but the weaker part of mine is that I cannot uh, survive for long without my family, maybe for a couple of months uh, or a couple of weeks, but not that more long than that because I, I belong to a joint family. So it's very, it's, it always become difficult for me to leave my family there for two years or three years. So when, when I uh, received this good news that I am nominated for SUSI and this is going to be a six weeks program and it will cover all the semester things, all the main topics I uh, teach and study and are important for my research, I think it's the most biggest good news of my life ever. Because it's the it's it's the most possible shortcut I can have to have my dream come true. So Susie is a good news for me. Uh, as I am an academician and I also have a personal interest in research, I always love to do research and explore new cultures and societies. So I think this is going to be a very unique, very unique experience for me and it will work as a breakthrough for my career, for my own personal skills, for my communication skills and obviously for my vision of the world. Like we are having, as we heard last night, that 18 lives and 18 whole different communities, different cultures, different school of thoughts here. And it's really, it's really very interesting to explore each other uh, by all the differences and I think when we talk about communication it, it, it means that you have to respect the differences and you have to accept the unique or maybe the diversity the nature has created, the heterogeneous part of the world. So this is the very unique experience and I think it will help me to enhance my profile, my professions and my personal skills and obviously my patience, my tolerance and to convey this message to my society as well.